we need to use a matrix inverse in order to find the equation of the line in the form of y is equal to mx plus b when the given product of matrices is equal to the resulting matrix here on the right side. So equation of the line, as you can see, this is a linear function, y is equal to mx plus b. So we need to find the components m, the slope of the line, and also the y-intercept of the line b. So as you can see, we need to solve somehow for this um, two by one matrix, right? So we're gonna get rid of this matrix somehow in order to have this matrix, two by one matrix, remain by itself. And that way we will solve for it. Now, so we're gonna let the A matrix be negative 10, one, five, one. And we need to find the inverse of that. Now, why are we finding the inverse of this particular matrix? So here's what we're going to do now. We're going to let M be 2 by 1 matrix be represented by a vector M. Well, rather, let's use, let's use P. Okay, let's use P as the vector. So then, um, what we're going to do, and we're also going to let negative 35 and 25, the 2 by 1 resulting matrix, let's let that be equal to Q. Then what happens is that we will have the product, the given product can be expressed as the matrix A times P, be equal to Q, okay? If we substitute in all the vectors here instead of these uh, given matrices. So we got to get rid of the matrix A. How do we do that? If we use the inverse and multiply it on both sides of this equation, we will basically isolate the P. And how does that work? So if we let, and I'm going to indicate this inverse, in green so that you can see it's a different matrix we're talking about. So if you multiply a to the one, a to the negative one, the inverse of a on the left side, look what's going to happen. So we're going to have a to the, uh, the the inverse of a be multiplied on the right side as well. And now what happens on the left side? Notice that a to the minus one times a is equal to the identity matrix. Now the identity matrix times P, right, times the um, two by one matrix is still going to be P, right? Because the identity, as long as it's the right size for the matrix P in this question, the identity matrix would be what? The identity matrix in this case would be one, zero, zero, one, because we're talking about the size of two by two, times the P, which would be MB, would not change the result. It would still be M, will still be two by one MB matrix, right? So that should be clear. Now, I leave it to you to practice that to understand that when you multiply these, you will get the same result as the uh, two by one matrix here. The identity matrix does not change as long as the right size, right? Two by two times two by one gives you two by one and also the fact that you're using identity matrix with the ones in the in the diagonal, the main diagonal, and the zeros in the secondary diagonal will not change the result. We'll keep the second matrix in question intact. So that way we know that this thing, this part will be gone. This will this part will be the identity, the identity matrix that when multiplied to P will solve for P. Okay, so now all we need to do, we need to find the uh, inverse of A and then multiply that inverse once, once we find it by this Q, by this resulting matrix in the given equation. So now let's find the inverse. How do we find the inverse of A? Well, since it's a 2 by 2 square matrix, that should be easy. With a 3 by 3 matrices, it becomes harder, more work. But here, there's a general formula. 
is going to be 1 divided by the determinant, and I'm going to write it as d, d, e, t, determinant of a, times um, the following. So what you want to do, you want to switch these two numbers, switch the places, that is, the 1 will go instead of negative 10 in the main diagonal, and negative 10 will take the place of that 1 in the main diagonal. Okay? And these two, the secondary diagonal, you're just going to negate the signs, right? So this becomes minus 5, and this becomes minus 1. Okay? So now it remains to find the determinant of the A. Now the determinant of the square, uh, square matrix A will be simply the product of the numbers in the main diagonal minus the product of the numbers in the secondary diagonal. Right, so that's going to be minus 10 minus 5, so that's equal to minus 15. So now we have found, using the determinant here, it's going to be negative 1 over 15. Okay? And we might as well just notice that this will be a constant, so a constant will apply to every single entry in this matrix that you see inside. Right, so we might as well introduce that inside to give us the final uh, inverse of the given matrix A. So this is going to be negative 1 over 15, right? Because of this negative sign in the 15 in the bottom, the negative can be written in the middle. So negative 1 over 15 will be applied to every one of these entries, will be multiplied. So 1 times negative 1 over 15 is negative 1 over 15. Negative 5 times negative 1 over 15 is positive. 5 divided by 15 is 1 third. All right? This one is negative, so it's just negation of negative 1 over 15, which is just positive 1 over 15. And this one is negative 10 divided by negative 15, right? And that's going to be 10 over 15, the positive, which is 2 thirds, right? If you divide both 10 and 15 by the GCF of uh, 5, you should get 2 thirds. Okay, so this is the inverse. So now, as a result, look what we have. We have as a result the M and B solved for. Okay, M and B as a result is equal to what? It's equal to the inverse that we found, which is this negative 1 over 15, uh, 1 third, 1 over 15, and 2 thirds being multiplied to the Q, right, which was this. Okay, so I'm just following this, what I wrote, what I wrote here. So P is equal to MB. A inverse is here, we just found that, and the Q is this, right, we defined it here, Q. So negative 35, 25. So let's see. So as a result, we just have to do matrix multiplication and then we will solve for every single entry, for, for both of these entries. So let's see. So the M, so let's solve for M first. So M is going to be what? M is going to be the product of the first entry in this matrix with this entry in the second matrix, right? So negative 1 over 15 times negative 35 plus, now we're going to add another product, which is the second entry in the first row, 1 over 15, times the second entry in the single row here, 25, right? So 1 over 15 times 25. So what is that going to be? This is the negative that cancels out. 35 over 15 is what? 35 divided by 5, right? That's the GCF. Is 7, so 7 thirds plus, um, and well, actually, I might as well just leave the denominator 15 because we have another 15 denominator there. So 35 plus 25 over 15. What is 35 plus 25? That's 60. So 60 over 15 is precisely 4. Okay, so that's the M value, the slope. Now the y-intercept is done similarly. It's going to be what? It's going to be the product of one-third and negative 35. 
If you want to refresh yourselves on uh, matrix multiplication, check out my other videos in the pre-calculus. You search to find the matrix multiplication. I give you at least maybe three, four examples on how to do it in my other videos. So one third times negative 35 plus the second entry in this row, two thirds times the bottom number 25 in that column. So two thirds times 25. So let's see. So we're gonna, I'm going to keep, <laughs> this time I'm going to keep the 3 in the bottom. I'm not going to, well, I can't do anything with the 35 either in, in any case, right? So minus 35 plus 50 is how much in the numerators? That's going to be 15. So 15 over 3, right? So that is 5. So now we found the equation of the line, uh, parts of it, right? M and B. So now the equation... is y is equal to, and I'm going to indicate that with red because that's the numbers that we found, 4x plus the y-intercept that we found was 5. Right? So you've successfully found the equation of a line by using matrix inverses. Realize that you could have also you could have also found the result by um, just doing direct uh, matrix multiplication here. And you would get two equations with two unknowns, M and B. Two linear equations with two unknowns. But that's not the method that's being asked uh, in order to solve this problem. You have to use matrix inverse, specific method of finding the inverse and using that together with the fact that you, you will use the identity matrix to make sure that the left side is nothing but P. So A will be eliminated by the, uh, by the inverse of A. And that is specifically the method that you need to find. So be sure that you don't skip this method. You need to understand how to use it. So I hope this was helpful and fun. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.